Hey Audacious, my name's Rob and I'm bringing today's devotion and it's from Luke 4 verse 6 which says, while they were there the time came for the baby to be born. Now this verse is talking about Joseph and Mary and the um, birth of Jesus and I can remember when my, my firstborn Zachary was, was born 13 or so years ago and I can remember that time, that nervous time of kind of being at home with my wife Sarah wondering when we should make the, the journey to the hospital. We've got everything planned out, we've got our bags packed, we've got all the kind of things that we thought we needed and probably much more than we actually did. And then kind of ultimately we made the decision that it, we felt it was the right time to, to go. So we jumped in the car and it was late at night, so the roads were clear and I drove as quickly and as safely as I possibly could, noting where the uh, speed cameras were to the, to the hospital, which is, which is nearby. And it's fortunate that you know the roads were clear because a few a few minutes after we arrived, our son Zachary was born, um, and I can just remember kind of arriving at the the hospital with all the nerves and excitement, um, and just wondering what was going to happen because it was the first time we'd kind of gone through that process, um, but actually being welcomed by the NHS staff and team there, and just feeling so reassured and confident. They immediately were surrounded by all these amazing people to help us and um, you know welcome Zachary into into the world. When I look back at uh, Joseph and Mary and their experience and kind of the the difficulties even that they'd had getting from Nazareth to Bethlehem, which I did look up on Google Maps and I looked and thought that's you know that's that's a challenging walk um, and kind of journey now um, in this day and age. But obviously on reflection, looking back, it was even harder. Um, you can kind of look at that and look at the fact that there, you know, there wasn't this abundance of healthcare professionals just waiting to support them and to guide them through this, you know, the, what was about to happen to them. And you can look at it and think, well, actually, this is the this is the wrong place at the wrong time. But then, as we've explored in previous devotions, and we're going to explore in the kind of the upcoming days, actually, it was the right place at the right time because it was God's timing bringing them to this place, surrounding them with kind of the, the, the people and providing a place for them to, to have their baby um, and to welcome Jesus, you know, our saviour in, into the world. And that was under very challenging circumstances. And could it have been easier? Of course it could have been. But actually God's timing in good seasons and difficult seasons is always perfect. When I look back and reflect on, on my life, and on the kind of the lives of the people around me, I can often remember the more challenging and difficult times more than the, the times that I found easier. And I'm so thankful that when I do reflect on those times, I look at kind of how they've shaped and moulded me into the person that I've become. But actually, more importantly, I look back and, and recognise where God and I have walked through those difficult times. And the thing that links all those things together um, as kind of I've, I've worked those things through and as I've walked with God, the common theme amongst all those experiences is his perfect timing. And I look back now at his timing and can see parts of that throughout throughout my life. And I reflect on that with absolute awe and amazement and occasionally reflect on that when I'm you know, having conversations with, with Sarah, my wife or with friends or with family. And what it also does is it kind of, you know, encourages me and provides revelation for the faith that I have in the future that is before me as I walk with God. And sometimes will find myself in difficult and challenging circumstances, but ultimately knowing that God's timing as he comes through with me and for me um, will always be perfect. Church, I just want to pray for us this today. I just want to pray that we recognise when we face challenging and difficult circumstances, that we also recognise that God will come through for us and that his timing is always perfect and always right. And I just pray that over you all this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a fantastic day. Take care.